Hello, brothers and sisters, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. My basic, my common sense. I try to keep it down with the nitty grander to 10 minutes. If it goes over 10 minutes, that means something very important, and everything I say is important. <laughs> my page is about comedy, humor, with a twist, a splash of research, and also comedy. Uh, humor as usual, uh, insults, roasting, I love it, okay, I love it, I love it, I'm trying my best to, uh, you know, get my message out there and stuff, if I get a thousand subscribers or more, then I'll probably ask for money, but I'm not really interested in money, I'm not an ambitious person, I'm not in a very enthused person, okay, and, and sometimes some word get, words get jargled, okay, so you have to keep up with me if you can, okay, everything I say is researched and facts, I don't talk liberally, okay, so if you have any comments, suggestions, or insights, you'll put it down below, okay? Or questions, okay? Um, now, I'm making this video because someone requested it from me. So I'm going to make it again, okay? But of course, um, there's a confusion out there about what type of people should people should be dating. Alright? Okay, so I'm going to label this video. Um, it's going to call Fall for Your Type Number 2, because I know I made it already. Okay, maybe I deleted it, but I'm just going to title it Fall for Your Type 2, okay? Now, and this, I'm going to put it very clearly to you so you can understand. There's a business type of relationships. Sugar daddies, pimps, or whatever, hustlers, or whatever. Sugar daddies, pimps, and hustlers. It's a sugar daddy type of relationship, which is mo only money involved. Though everything is involved with money. Money is involved with pretty much ev almost, almost everything. Everything is like a business, okay? Everything is a trade-off. But these are different types. I'm just list label, labeling it down so you can understand the different types of relationships. And why everybody and, and everyone should make sure they fall for their type. Okay? So most most popular one is a soulmate. Okay? A lot of people say, oh, I found my soulmate. But really, in reality, they really didn't. Because I'm a psychologist. And I told you, I read into the shit way beyond they can even think. I'm like the mentalist. Like, like sometimes you'll see a black person with a white person. And you know for a fact deep down inside that they're mismatched. But most likely, if you have that intuition, then it is most likely true. And the relationship will not last. One person is more superficial than the other. But I'm going to label down to all, I'm going to put all three of them for you so you can understand. I'm also going to put in the description box what I mean, okay? So sometimes to clarify things up if people would like to read. Because I write more clear than well, how I speak. <laughs> and it depends on how... Who I'm surrounded by. It's kind of weird. I, sometimes I'm not really good at talking on the camera. It's, it's not scripted, okay? It's not edited, okay? Now, okay, the first type is business type. I'm going to start with the business type. That's the most popular thing. The most popular one. All right? Um, and the second type is basically, you know, you got uh, a, a soulmate, okay? Everybody say, I found my soulmate. But most of the time, they didn't, okay? Most of the time, when they get, when you find a soulmate, it's like a 80-20 type thing. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And most of the time when you have a soulmate, the person is completely different from their own original self, okay? Alright, so you understand that? And then that's the third type. I'm just going to narrow down the three things. so Because I know a lot of your attention spans are not really too well put, not well too put together, okay? The third type is a kindred spirit, which does happen throughout the, throughout the world by about 4%, which I did the research. Kindred spirits, are you they match you personally 90% to 100%. So let's say, for instance... I'm looking for my kindred spirit, which is very, very difficult to do. Someone either, if they have a mole on the opposite side, or maybe even two moles, I don't care. And they're shorter than me, just, they almost look just like me. But at the same time, their personality is so close to mine, so close that you can never, you will never be able to separate yourself from a kindred spirit. The only type of people who will not like themselves are people who are negative narcissists. I repeat, negative narcissist. Yes, this is a positive narcissist. I'm one of the positive narcissists. I will kick your ass. I will cause you. If you strike me, I will strike you twice. So that I, and I, if I explain to you that this is what's going to happen, that makes me a narcissist. Okay, well, well. It's called Dharma, a karma Dharma. If you, I don't do eye for an eye, baby. If you, you, you cross that line, you break an eggshell. It's not really eggshells. When you with me, it's not eggshells. I give you chances, okay? That that's what triggers me because I know you don't care that much, right? It's so psychology, right? Right? Psychosis. Now, a kindred spirit is someone you match with ninety to one hundred percent. I've never met it, and I never came, I came close to it a few times mentally, but it's very rare that they keep up with other things. Because I'm a Renaissance man, okay? All right. A soulmate is someone everybody knows. Say, I want this type of person, okay? I want this person who is a uh, 
uh, uh, overweight, okay? Someone who's not the same health stat. Someone who's usually not the same mental stat. Someone who's not the usually the, na the, the main spiritual stat. A kindred spirit is spiritual, physical, physical beauty, near age bracket, because the age bracket could be like 10, 10 years. It doesn't matter. As long as that person is like 30 years or 40 years older, you know, there's something wrong, okay? You know, it, there's some exceptions, though. I have to make the word, there's some exceptions because of the fact that you already know what a business relationship is. Business soulmates are because they, they're only down for money. Prostitutes and shit. You know, women always sell their fucking pussy for fucking uh, for money. <laughs> the system is ruled by women. OK, it's a, it's a matriarch system. And OK, it's not a patriarch system. OK, we already know the Commonwealth rules all things. Women control everything. They're causing the most murders in the world by fact. Not men on men crime. It's women. Women to the men ratio. It's it's the whole entire motherfucking globe. The reason why we have wars is because of that. They don't. I'm not being gynocentric or misogynistic at all. It's just a fucking fact. They, I can link them all together if you ask me the right questions. But let me get back to the point. Now I have I wrote I wrote a list here for some exceptions. Okay, for the individuals who are just unique or eccentric like myself. Okay. <laughs> You know, as I said before, I can't always make videos because I have to watch my daughter. And, and you can see her right here laying down, okay? You can see my wife over there on her phone all the time, okay? And she's basically a religious person. I've told you, my type of person is a renaissance man. Most women can't keep up, women. They can't keep up, okay? Just, that's just 90%. Most women are, does not have the intellectual proudness. I met a lot of men, and if I was gay, I'd probably be happy as hell, okay? <laughs> but I'm not gay. I'm sorry, okay? I don't take the shitty ass. I don't take the shitty ass. Okay, I'm not the shitty ass. Now, I'm just going to talk to you for 10 minutes because I try to keep my videos down because I don't want people to get bored. And I don't have a monotone voice because I'm a, I'm a Negro. I'm mixed with German. And that's why I'm so fucking confused sometimes. The voices be fucking with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? So here's some exceptions. Since I'm an eccentric individual who's looking for my kindred love, which is very, very, it's most likely not going to happen in my lifetime. But it has happened. I've read some reports where people met their kindred spirit. Okay, we're not talking about soulmates. Everyone, I, I already told you, explained to you about soulmates. Now, soulmates is what people make them out to be, and they're not the mirror image of themselves. Okay, all right. I don't care if my mate is a darker skin. I, I I do prefer a female to be my my complex darker skin. Okay, but she's basically still my beauty though. She's not going to be super super way more far more beautiful than I am. Okay, and I'll be jealous as fuck. <laughs> But if she is more beautiful, I have to, that I have to take some uh, you know, pre measures, okay? You know what I'm saying? And I and I'm not talking about the business uh, soulmates here, okay? I'm not talking about business soulmates here. We're just talking about the soulmate and the kindred spirits, spirits, and also we're gonna talk about exceptions. Like for example, my mental exception, since I know that I am a high caliber intellectual, okay, okay, because I do my research, and I'm not going to make no assumptions, and I'm not liberal, I don't go by my feelings, I'll do four different types of research before I get it down to the nitty gritty, it, 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 mental exceptions, okay, I, I can't find someone like me, so I'll settle for someone who's a virgin, okay, even though I am a virgin myself, I, so I have to settle for a virgin, OCD, okay, um, renaissance kings and queens, if you're a queen that's like the same as me, you might as well, you better get in touch with me, if I if I can't if I find a female who is a virgin and it does doesn't work out, I'm always planning. I'm always I'm the emerald pill motherfucker. I told you read my emerald pill shit right there. Okay, and um, an incentric individual. I'm a very incentric person. I do not like socializing at all because I believe in the supernatural and all that other bullshit. You know you have to be paranoid, but I'm not I'm not scared completely. Okay, uh, you know this. The, oh yeah, for some people, however, some exceptions are fetishes. Some people are just strongly drawn and gravitates towards fatter people. So you got thin people who's loving to f the fact that the person is just fat, okay? Maybe it's out of desperation, okay? You, the only way to find out is through basically asking constructive questioning with the individual. You can actually ask constructive questioning of why a thinner person, woman or man, will love a fatter person. Or why a super beautiful woman because I've seen it many times when I see a beautiful, super beautiful woman with an ugly ass white white guy. It's not about love, baby. It's not about, take away the money, take away certain things, and you'll start seeing the shit break apart. Because most women who are down with those white guys, those white crackers, okay, I say it too. Yes, I do. I'm very explicit, but I'm not. I'm not being. I, I say nigga. I say all sorts of crazy shit on my page, okay, to get my hype up and boast up. I might go past ten minutes with this shit, but you gotta understand that you gotta watch those little telltale things now. You got someone who's a 10 on the scale, who's looking for someone, I thought about it in reverse, yes I did, who's looking for someone who's a 5, 
but do you guys understand they have no substance the person who's a five who's not has no substance so the only thing they have is their money to back them up i saw beautiful black women with white men and i'm like okay i know that chick is after his money because he if he ain't had no money they will probably never got along at all okay same thing when i see older men with younger chicks same thing it's a Easy to easy to understand, easy to get through. That's a, that's a business soulmate. I'm telling you right now. Or they may call themselves soulmates, but they're not no kindred spirits. Now, hey, let me go on down with the exceptions again. The exceptions with type type of guys like myself. If I'm a Renaissance man, or or you want to say kindred kings men, okay. There are some fetishes that some men now this some particular men has fetishes and they want to have a a, a a fuck fest with fat females or or they want to be like a. a uh, they want to. You got a fat man who's smart, but he can't help himself. Sometimes they don't know themselves. They're not really kingsmen, so they got to study on who those their, themselves are. They, they 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 say they can't handle their own kindred love. That means they may not most likely be love in love with themselves. They may be a negative narcissist. All right, a negative narcissist is someone who looks themselves in in vain. They take advantage of people in a negative way. They don't have spirituality with them. It's gone. Okay, I've made a video on it already about ne negative narcissism and positive narcissism. You got to be careful who you're dealing with because me, I just tell you straight out, really nice in a certain way that I'm not to be fucked with if you want to play a game psychologically. I can read. I'm like the fucking mentalist, right? Right? There you go, okay? So let's go down to the next list, okay? Okay, um, there's some people basically in general, generally the rule of thumb is, is that most people should match themselves, especially when it comes to beauty and also weight and also health. Most people don't really match up themselves with spirituality and ment mentalism. They just don't, okay? They just don't. They don't, most, especially most women, they don't look at a man and say, okay, this man hates personality, he's banging. They don't usually say that. 70% of the women don't think like that. <laughs> you understand? That's a fact. Now, most men, however, they may look at beauty, but then they may be still young in the mind because they haven't been taught by a proper father. And just like a lot of females, they haven't been taught by a proper father. They're going to have problems with relationships because they're looking at beauty first. You understand? Beauty is the downfall of mankind, especially when there's so much lack of love in the world. So what else is there to say? Most of society's fucked up because of the mothers of the mothers of the mothers. And the kings, who basically was negative narcissists of ancient times, who caused this shit to happen. You'll have one king with a small little penis. <laughs> what a way. <laughs> who have multiple mistresses and shit, okay, by force, because he was brought into the royalty families, okay. And that shit spread like a fucking disease, okay. So we got, you got Ben who caused this shit, but really it started way before that. Because African proverbs, now I'm going to another topic, says that we always, uh, uh, we have, we both have both sexes, okay? We've always like hermaphrodites and shit. We both have a penis and a fucking female. We had war with each other. And that's another story. That's another, I already talked about the uh, creation stories already. I told you about this. I read the African proverbs and all that old ancient shit stories, okay? Because everything is the f coming from the womb. It's a feminine energy. It's an emotional energy. So you have to understand that logic will fight against emotion many times throughout our lives until we come together as one. And they say the African Proverbs basically says uh, that we was one at one time until these alien species uh, separated us from that. Okay. <laughs> but of course, that's another topic for another subject. But I made myself very clear. And of course, um... That's all I wanted to say, brothers and sisters of Light and Dark. And if you like my page, subscribe. And of course, when I get a thousand subscribers, then I will basically ask you for money and you will make me rich. <laughs> Peace and love to you, brothers and sisters of Light and Dark. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my page. Have a nice fucking day. Okay. <laughs> Peace.